Hi friends, we're back along the Verde River Corridor in Central Arizona. And Verde today is running strong. We've had some amazing winter and spring rains starting in November, proceeding through December and all the way into March. The river's probably flowing at about two to 4,000 cubic feet per second right now. We've seen this river flood up to 60,000 feet per second during extreme events. Its normal flow is around a few hundred feet per second. Perennial streams like this provide a unique and really important habitat in the American Southwest because of the reliable water that they provide. The Verde is a perennial stream. Many other streams like the Verde will dry up seasonally, but underground, the groundwater will continue to move three to six feet below the surface. All of these streams that retain their water close enough to the surface support a particular type of forest community. It's a ribbon of green, a ribbon of what we would call riparian obligate species. If you look across the river, you can see the green canopy of Fremont cottonwoods. Here along the Verde, at this particular spot, where most of the material that's being deposited by the river is sandy and gravelly, and the cottonwoods really reign supreme. If the river were dropping more, we had more cobbles, we'd see less of the cottonwoods, more sycamores, and other types of species more well suited to that substrate. But in most parts of the desert southwest, sand and gravel, cottonwoods, we end up with an amazing canopy of poplar leaves. Like most poplars, the cottonwoods tend to leaf out early in the season. They're really frost resistant. So there's some of our first evidence of the greening up of spring. Of course, those leaves support insects. Those insects support birds. And this whole place becomes a vertical habitat magnet for avian species that are migrating into the area. A few other riparian obligates that are worth mentioning that are also here along the Verde River Corridor include the Goodings Willow, which is a tree-sized willow, several other species of wand-sized willows, including coyote and arroyo, as well as the seep willow, or Bacchus glutinosa, which is actually in the sunflower or asteraceae. These habitats occupy less than 2% of the land in Arizona, and as many people know, due to the impacts of human endeavors such as cattle grazing, development, etc., dropping of the water table, they're one of the most threatened habitats that we have here in the state. But because of the reliability of the water, they tend to be the most biologically productive, biologically diverse, and ecologically significant of the different habitat types, acre for acre, that we have here in the American Southwest. In another clip, we'll take a look at how river terraces form different distinct communities along riparian corridors such as the Verde River. But for now, enjoy the sound of the river. It always has a lot to say.